Okay, this was one of the first guys that I really developed a good strategy for. Um, that was because I was trying so hard to beat Zone 3, just normal mode. And the strategy is this. As you can see, if I'm wiggling back and forth at the end of his diamond shape here, it works out in this case. But it's very possible... Okay, working out again. Let me just dig buffer so it's not. It's very possible for it to not be working out, like this. But no matter what, I'd have to dig buffer to switch back which track he's on. But there's a way you can fix that, and that's if you jump into this square, right here, where I'm standing, or any of the other four that are around him, like this one, or this one, or this one. If you jump into that, you're guaranteed to have an opening to hit him. In that case, it was at the bottom. It's going to be it again. Let me go over here and show you. Okay. So hit him there. I'm just do a dig buffer. And we'll go around the side. So I see him up there. I'm like, okay, I don't want to go inside his little diamond there. But if we stand here and we jump back and forth, we get an opening. And you are guaranteed to get an opening there. Bam. Like that. So I hope that explains. And it's the same for the ice slime. Exact same. There's no real difference. I've seen some people try to, like, go in, and then you can hit them easy. And that's fair. You can do that. But I prefer this, because then you don't have to try and get inside his little bubble there. You don't ever have to step on a square wheel and get hurt by him.